Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is image enhancement in spatial domain. We'll discuss what is the meaning of image enhancement and we'll also discuss the different methods related to point processing. So processing of image, basically what is the meaning of image enhancement? Enhancement means you want to process the signal, you want to process an image, you want to make modification in an image so that the modified image will be more suitable for a particular application compared to the original image. <clears throat> so this is called image enhancement. In simple language, processing of an image that means making changes in an image is called image enhancement. Now, after enhancement, the image is denoted by G function of X comma Y. We know that X, Y represents coordinates of uh, that particular pixel. So G, X, Y represents the processed image. Matlab modify karne ke baad, jo image tayar hoga, that is the processed image denoted by G of X, Y. T is the operator. We want to make modification in an image. So we will be designing a particular operator that is denoted by T. F of X, Y is original image or input image which we want to modify. <clears throat> now, this is about the group of pixels. If you want to modify a particular group of pixels, say we want to make modification in 100 pixels, then this is the notation. But if you want to process point wise, means if you want to modify a single pixel at a time, it is called point processing. In that case, notation is S is equals to T of R, where R represents grayscale of input pixel. Grayscale means in very simplified language, uh, color of that particular pixel. So related to input pixel, notation is R grayscale of output pixel after processing, after making changes, then that grayscale is denoted by S. So S is, S is equals to T of R. T is the operator. Now, first type, identity or negative of an image. We have drawn one graph. On x-axis, I have written R. R means gray level of input image, jo hum ko modify karna hai. In this case, we are talking about a point processing means we want to modify the gray scale uh, or details of a particular pixel, of one pixel at a time. So R represents gray scale of input pixel. S represents gray scale of output pixel. We are plotting R on horizontal line, S on vertical line. Now, if I will talk about this particular line, this is called identity transformation. Means, jitna R ka value hai, S ka value ho jayega. For example, if say this is the gray level 10 related to R, on this axis I am plotting R, then corresponding gray level after processing will be the gray level of S, which is again same, which is 10. So this graph, black uh, ink graph represents identity curve means we are uh, not making any uh, detailed uh, changes in case of input pixel. Next is negative of an image. So it is, as the name indicates, it is quite simple. It produces negative of an image. A very good example of negative of an image is X-ray images. It is similar to the, getting the negative of an image is similar to the negative of some photograph. So good example is X-ray image. In this case, the transformation is given by equation S is equals to L minus 1 minus R. L represents number of gray levels. If I'm talking about a black and white image, then total number of gray levels L is equals to 256. So this equation simply can be written as S is equals to 255. Very simple, 256 minus 1, that is 255 minus R. We have discussed in case of black and white image, there are total 256 gray scales, gray shades. So these are from 0 to 255. So L minus 1 becomes 255 minus R. For example, according to this equation, uh, if, if R is equals to 0, then this gives S is equals to 255. That means if R is 0 means this point, corresponding value of S will be 255. That is maximum value. So you are getting this point. 
then if second condition second extreme condition if r is equals to 255 this gives s is equals to 0 from this equation so r is 255 means this point and it gives s is equals to 0 s is equals to 0 means same point so we are getting this type of graph which is called negative of an image so these are the two techniques identity and negative identity means we are uh, uh, transforming image we are not making any major changes we are keeping the image as it is negativity means we are converting make it more simple we are converting black into white and white into black uh, grayscale this is called negative of an image next type of transformation logarithmic transformation this is basically used for uh, dynamic range compression what's the meaning of this word see in case of daytime we can see the sun but we cannot see the stars reason is intensity of sunlight is much much greater than the intensity of light from the stars this is called very wide dynamic range of of a particular image so to compress such dynamic range logarithmic uh, transformation is used now this is the graph of r r means a gray level of input pixel s means gray level of output pixel which will get after performing transformation that means in this case after performing logarithmic transformation so this black ink graph represents logarithmic transformation whereas this red ink graph represents inverse log transformation first we will talk about logarithmic transformation just i have explained that it is used for dynamic range compression the formula is s is equals to c c is some constant value log 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 of 1 plus r this log basically maps maps means transforms narrow range of lower gray level values of an input image into wide range at the output side it expands values of lower levels and compresses values of higher levels as far as gray levels are concerned matlab jo lower gray levels hai unko expand karenge aur jo higher uh, gray levels ke values hai unko compress karenge so that the total dynamic range dynamic range is what minimum to maximum uh, gray levels total uh, dynamic range will be compressed so this is the logarithmic transformation inverse log is exactly opposite to that of log transformation next type is power law transformation the corresponding equation is s is equals to c into r raised to gamma this notation is a uh, notation for gamma gamma is called correction factor in this case c is constant so you can well treat like this uh, c and r both are constants uh, c and gamma both are constants this r this notation we have discussed this represents gray level of input pixel which we want to transform and s is the gray level uh, of that particular pixel which you will get after making a transformation now this is the corresponding graph like the previous graph it is graph of s versus r range 0 to l minus 1 if it is a black and white image then we know that range will be 0 to 255 there are different uh, portions of this graph first is when gamma is equals to 1 you are getting a straight line graph like this this is the identity graph these are the curves shown by a uh, black uh, ink this represents the transformation for gamma greater than one this green curves represent the transformation for gamma less than one so this equation is c that is constant r raised to gamma this value of gamma decides which type of transformation which type of power transformation will be generated so if value of gamma is less that means for lower values of gamma that means gamma less than one narrow range of dark input values are transformed into wide range of output values and if gamma is uh, greater than one then opposite case will take place then we discussed for gamma is equals to one there is identity transformation basically there could be non linearity during image capturing the printing of image or displaying a particular image on the screen so to correct this non linearity uh, in case of an images this type of transformation is used and particularly this value of gamma is used so 
by adjusting the value of gamma which we can remove the non linearity uh, in term in case of images which are uh, used for printing displaying and so on so gamma is called correction factor a practical example is in case of crt cathode ray tube display when we talk about intensity to voltage conversion then this response intensity to voltage response uh, in that case much darker images are produced so if you display the image without making any correction then more dark images will be displayed to avoid this pre processing of image is required before displaying and this corresponding a uh, value of gamma see equation is c that is constant r raised to gamma we are considering constant one r raised to Corresponding value of gamma is one by two point five. That is, yeah, one by two point five is point four. So gamma is uh, R is two point four. So by choosing this value of gamma, we can make the corrections as far as this non-linearity is concerned. So this is about the power law transformation. Next important type is contrast stretching. We know what is the meaning of word contrast. Basically. contrast stretching means it increases contrast of an image increasing contrast means the dark portion of an image is made much darker and bright portion is made much brighter so this is the way to increase the contrast of an image what are the basic reasons that you are getting a low contrast image up after capturing an image so it can be due to poor illumination of that particular object then second uh, there can be a problem with uh, wrong uh, setting of lens of a camera and third is lack of dynamic range in the sensor because of which you are getting a low contrast image so by using this transformation contrast stretching we can change the contrast of an image so here i showed in this graph this is the transformation curve i have shown two points r1 s1 and r2 s2 these two points values of these two points decides the shape of transformation for example if r1 is equals to s1 and r2 is equals to s2 that means see on this graph on x axis we are plotting r on y axis we are plotting s uh range is 0 to l minus 1 in both the cases if what we have written r1 is equals to s1 and r2 is equals to s2 let us say r1 is equals to s1 is equals to l by 4 and r2 is equals to s2 is equals to 3 l by 4 then r1 is equals to s1 is uh, l by 4 that means you are getting this point r1 and s1 are same and r2 is equals to s2 is equals to 3 l by 4 so you are getting this point so the graph will be like this this is the identity curve so under this condition you are getting identity transformation next if r1 is equals to r2 s1 is 0 and s2 is l minus 1 s1 is 0 that means you are getting a line like this and see this is for s1 is equals to 0 r1 is equals to r2 let r1 is equals to r2 is equals to l by 2 so you are getting this point for s1 0 r1 r2 say l by 4 so you are getting this point of l by 4 and next condition is s2 is l minus 1 l minus 1 is this level so you are getting a transformation like this this is called a threshold function or it is also called a binary transformation for example the in case of a tv picture which is having very high co contrast ratio that means you are getting this type of transformation very simple r1 is equals to r2 s1 is 0 and s2 is maximum that is l minus 1 so in that case you are getting a threshold function so jaisa maine bataya if you change the values of coordinates like r1 s1 and r2 s2 you can well uh, change the contrast of an image this is about the next contrast gray level slicing see practical application is uh, if you if we want to uh, enhance or highlight a particular flaws of x ray images then this type of technique is used which is gray level slicing i showed in this diagram 
consider part A to B. Only this part is highlighted. That means it is increased portion between A to B by using a transfer function uh, like this, transformation function like this, and remaining portions. That means from starting uh, from starting point up to A and from point B uh, up to the ending point. All other gray levels are reduced to uh, lower values, reduced to zero. So this type of transfer function. Uh, transformation highlights the range A to B of gray levels. This particular range is highlighted and it reduces all other gray levels to zero. Another type, this see, this graph is particularly, this portion is particularly an identity transformation. Only portion A, B is highlighted whereas the remaining portion is not changed. That means the remaining portion is preserved. In the earlier case, remaining portion is reduced to zero whereas in this case, the uh, remaining portion is kept as it is that means preserved and only the part A to B is highlighted. The last part is bit plane slicing. As shown in this diagram, entire image is divided into number of bit planes. So we are using bit plane 0 to bit plane 7. Say we are using 8 bit planes. Then contribution in this case, contribution made by a specific bits in an image is highlighted. Just now we discussed the gray level slicing in which we discussed that portion A to B is highlighted but in this case contribution by specific bits in an image is highlighted. So here each pixel is represented by 8 bits. Higher order bit planes, bit planes 7, 6, 5 and 4 usually gives major significant visual information whereas lower order bit planes are suitable are giving suitable details of an image this particular technique bit plane slicing is used to avoid the differences uh, as far as this brightness and contrast of image are concerned so this is about the bit plane slicing and that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video